Hi, I'm Nan Simonson, author of Aging Power Plate, and I am a whole food plant-based lifestyle coach, author, and speaker. And today, I'm going to be talking about a main dish, the idea of which I got from Liz, um, Lunchtime with Liz, a friend of mine sent this little video clip from, I think it was maybe Instagram, and it looks so good that I put it to practice that night. I served it, my husband loved it. I've got about 25 minutes before he's going to be home and we like to eat early so that we can have a long fast before we have breakfast. This is what I'm using, cauliflower, and it's been seasoned. Now she had her recommended seasonings. I'm just using what I happen to have, and this is a piece that, brought, that broke off. I got this beauty at our farm store on Sunday. We go to a vegan brunch every Sunday and then stop by this marvelous farm store on 15 acres of land. They pick it in the morning, we buy it that afternoon. And what else do I have here? Rice and hummus. Wait till you see how easy this is. I got a number of seasonings as a Christmas gift. Some low sodium, like these Dano seasonings, low sodium, this one's spicy, this one's original. <clears throat> these are not quite low sodium, all purpose kinders. And I ended up going with this wood fire garlic um, seasoning. No, this is not low sodium. I'm not using any oil, <clears throat> but I could have done other things. I could have gone with this Georgian seasoning, garlic and spicy and deep tones um, of arom aromatic and savory herbs. This could have been our Mexican feast flavor. I could have gone with a Burberry, which is 21 or a 12 spice blend that has a very Middle Eastern kind of flavor. I could have gone with local spiceries, Sol Della Toscano, that is completely um, salt free or I could have simply put um, uh, smoky paprika and garlic powder and onion powder or granules and maybe a little bit of turmeric um, maybe a little bit of thyme anyway I didn't do any of that I used the kinders wood fire put it on the cauliflower put some water in the bottom and I am going to close your ears and La la la, if you don't use a microwave, because I do. Dr. Greger of nutritionfacts.org says it's just fine, and I think it is too. And I'm gonna put this in there for about four minutes. There's some water at the bottom, simply to soften it. Then I'm gonna put it in an oven. I could have put it in my regular oven at on bake at about 375 or 400 for 20 minutes. Instead, I'm putting it in my Breville um, Smart Air oven. And I'll get back to you to show you how we're gonna assemble this very simple combination. In the meantime, I'm gonna shoot another video of the way I do greens. I have a bunch of beet greens and chard. And we're gonna have that and what a meal this is going to be. So look for that recipe, it'll be Nan sauteed greens. <laughs> okay, I brought it out of the microwave. I put it in with this cloth basket. I bought it at a, a, a fair, a craft fair, and boy is it handy for anything I pull out of there, uh, even though it's a little cool now. These silicone pads, I bought a set of four, I think they're on my Amazon store, and they are handy because they're heavy enough to hold in the steam and they are shaped so that if this had been a very large cauliflower, it, I could have still used it. Otherwise, I could have just put a plate on top of this. And what I got was just what I was looking for and I did put it in for another three minutes. So that's seven minutes total. This was a really big cauliflower. And what I wanted was for it to be just kind of soft, kind of pliable. When I first pulled it out, it was just too stiff. And I want it to be partially cooked because I'm going to put it into the Breville oven on roast at 375. This little piece, where did I get this? 
oh, it doesn't really matter. And my husband and I will eat this entire head of cauliflower. And I'm putting it in the oven. I'll be back when it's finished. It's gonna caramelize in there and kind of toast in there. And I'll show you how we're assembling this lovely meal. All right, I'm back and we're putting this together. Look at this beauty. Roasted cauliflower, tender because we put it in the microwave and basically brought it down to kind of a hot steam and then roasted it in the, um, in the breville oven for, I think I ended up with about 25 minutes. And I just kept feeling it. Here's our plate. We are about to eat. And I pulled some frozen rice out of the freezer and heated it. Take it out of that plastic bag. Don't heat plastic with food because there's no way you're not getting plastic particles in there. And just put a plate over it and heated it. And I'm adding to it some garlic powder. Um, and it'll be in the recipe. Garlic powder, onion powder, and a little bit of turmeric. Mixing that up and it's going to give it a pretty yellow uh, color. Turmeric does that. And then I'm going to add to that, can you see, yes we can, a little bit of lemon to really give this some zing. All right. So this is what we're putting on the plate. I have my red pepper, a roasted red pepper hummus. You'll find that on my channel, just Nan Simonson Roasted Red Pepper Hummus. And it's actually from Brenda Davis's Kicking Diabetes Cookbook, whole food, plant-based, no added oil, and 100% delicious. Yeah, I'll even add more. Because what you're doing is you're cutting through the cauliflower, through the rice, and then you're getting the hummus for moisture. I'm gonna cut this in half and we're sharing it. And, oh, that's beautiful. Put it on the plate. There we go, we'll leave it like that. And, I'm go, oh, you know what I did wrong? Sorry, hands work. I wanted to put the rice down because we're cutting through the cauliflower, through the rice, into the hummus. Okay, there we go. We'll be sharing, we're each getting this, a plate just like this. Hands work, here's the cauliflower. Open it up a little bit. And I'm going to put some parsley and some fresh chives that I just picked from the garden. And then I'm going to put on the back side the greens that I was talking about that I uh, cooked in another video. And it is my chard and beet greens. Look at this marvelous meal. Yeah. Isn't that nice? I hope you enjoyed this. Let us people know we can have plant-based whole food meals that can, you know, take Michelin stars. Have a great day. I know I will. Bye-bye.